Joining me now from Yale University is Dr. Shi Chen. He's an assistant professor in the School of Public Health. Look, a lot of good news regarding the speed of clinical trials and getting there. But even in the best case scenario, will a vaccine do anything to help the situation we're seeing right now? Uh, glad to be with you, Elaine. Uh, so uh, the short answer is uh, it will take months, if not years. So because the developing a vaccine is a very complex uh, issue, it really needs to uh, factor into consideration about the safety as well as the effectiveness, and both on human beings and but before that on animals. So it takes uh, uh, very few months before it can be tested on, on human uh, beings. And uh, in each step, there are separate assessment about the safety and uh, effectiveness. And also, even after this uh, process, they need to be like mass uh, production, but which really need a, a very stringent monitoring of the quality. But this with, uh, will be very costly. It may take years to adjust for the quality control process. And I would say that the recent uh, travel ban and the trade restrictions may further delay the process because uh, the, to produce a vaccine, it really need uh, the countries to coordinate the efforts. Not only American could make this uh, vaccine, it need the coordination with other countries. But that said, this time, the good news is that uh, uh, the Chinese government uh, and the scientists uh, uh, used a very short time period to identify the, the, the gene sequence of the pathogen and share with the uh, international community. If we compare with SARS, it took uh, uh, more than 10 months to do so. So this is much shortened. So we are expected to have a whole process shortened as a result of the, of the shortening period between identified gene sequence and the phase one clinical trial. But it still takes much time. And what can we learn from the recovered coronavirus patients? Um, what role, if any, do they play in the development of a vaccine? Yes, that, that's a great question. So those patients are really uh, the, uh, uh, the target for the process of the learning. So the scientists uh, from their identified pathogens can understand, for example, whether there's a mutation going on. And if that's the case, then uh, the, the development uh, uh, of the uh, R&D of the vaccine will may be further delayed. But the good news from the uh, WHO uh, expert team yesterday was mentioning there was a little concern about the mutation at this time point. So, so the development of the vaccine, that means will be more stable and would be an uh, effective cure for most of the uh, patients this year. But we still need to worry about the mutation in the, uh, in the next year and the year ahead because uh, as we already know that this is more like a flu and with flu there's uh, more and more concern about the mutation. And like influenza virus, the uh, the, uh, the, this coronavirus is very much uh, uh, with a single strand of RNA. So with a single strand of RNA, it's easy to mutate. So as we already say from the different countries in the world, uh, that different countries are in different stage of this epidemic. But eventually, I would say it's very likely all the countries will all reach a point where the containment strategy may not be working effectively. So we need to more focus on the mitigation of the risk and, uh, and protect those most at risk and uh, fast and accelerate the development uh, of uh, uh, therapeutics and uh, vaccines. All right, Dr. Shi Chen at Yale University, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure.